Uh, good evening, everyone, and to those who are watching us today, and as this live streaming on Facebook or on YouTube will be watched by our uh, brethren. God bless you all. So today is August 29, and we're going to be having our Bible study. And I think our Bible study will end up on August 30. So it, it seems that this Bible study is about <laughs> one day. <laughs> this is already 10.23 in the evening, and uh, we are going to finish this for sure. Uh, 12 midnight, uh, so it would be from August 29 to August 30. So at least, even if we are, we are locked down, uh, we are still gathered here in this Bible study, in this Zoom Bible study. So how are you there, Pastora? Uh, good, Pastor. By the grace of God, I'm doing well. And very thankful sa Panginoon dahil Siya yung nagbibigay ng kalakasan sa araw-araw. Yes. And how was the result of the test? Medical test? Oh, my medical test, Pastor, is uh, good. Ready to are uh, uh, fit to work. And uh, now I have given my passport for them to or so the ikama to process the visa right binigay ko na yung passport passport ko for the processing of my ikama visa yes ah uh, yeah big hopefully because... na ilang weeks ba ito pastor ang processing madali lang yan most madali lang mabilis lang yan so mabilis lang yan yeah, ko na lang nasabi nilang tapos na oo oh. Mm -mm. So anyway, um, one thing that we need to be thankful for is that every time that we go for medical test, we are always hoping that the test would be saying fit to work. Why? Because according to the yeah. medical, <laughs> according to the medical uh, practitioner, there are only two stamps that is needed to be stamped on your medical test in here, and if they're going to find out that you are unfit to work immediately you are going to be deported so since the lord has given us the opportunity to work here and he has um, allowed us to be healthy and i know becoming healthy mm -hmm. is of course that is the the favor of the lord but most importantly Amen. most important being healthy is our practice right when when the Lord is saying um, there are food that that actually not to be taken, it means that we have to be very mm -hmm. careful on it also, right? Uh, it means our it is yeah. our responsibility to be healthy. We are praying that the people are going to be healthy, yet if they're going to be abusive, then I, I, I think the negligence... Yes. The negligence is on the part of the person. If, for example, uh, he is violating or she is violating, for especially in in her or his food intake. So it is important that we are going to be aware also of what we are eating. Okay, so uh, I'm also thankful to the Lord because um, in in you know in the past months. We have been exposed to several cases like the COVID-19. I mean, a lot of people whom you met and a lot of people whom you personally I, I met and I had an argument sometimes uh, because especially in implementing the policies of the company, mo pwedeng maiwasan na ano na hindi ka makapagpagtaas ng bosses kasi you are implementing something. So, um, kailangan talaga ay mm -hmm. ano ka din, this time na may COVID-19 kinakailangan, hindi yung hindi din kinakailangan na umiiral yung yung emotion lang natin, yung awa lang natin lagi. Kinakailangan may bakal. Kinakailangan din may, may kamay na bakal din 
na kinakailangan natin gawin kasi we need to implement sometimes the rules. And this is exactly what is exactly what is happening in our country no right now kasi parang gusto nila i-consider muna sila kasi artista sila i-consider sila dahil um kumbaga mayroon silang position sa government i-consider sila or i-exempt sila kasi nga parang malaking taxpayer sila pero kung titingnan natin ngayon with the increasing numbers of uh, people na na-infect ng COVID-19 kinakailangan talaga dito kamay na bakal, kinakailangan disiplina talaga. So, we thank the Lord mm-hmm. at this in here. Um, yun nga, sa'yo nga, nag, nag, nagkaroon na rin ako ng sentimiento na oh, nabuboard na siguro si Pastora dahil hindi nga siya nakaka-fellowship sa amin dito. Hindi tayo nagkikita-kita in person. Pero, nandoon talaga yung sentimiento natin. Kaya lang, ngayon talaga ay Uh, sometimes is set aside muna natin yung yung kung mayroon mang mga yung mga sentimiento na yon kasi nga nangiibabaw talaga yung ano yung safety. Kami nga ngayon mm-hmm. tama su- o, o yung mga sulat nga namin hindi talaga namin ma-submit na ano by hand kasi hindi talaga tatanggapin email email lang talaga. So kung ang mga ano nga kung ang mga kumpanya yung mga nasa world very strict silang nag implement ng mga polisiya about COVID-19 and they are becoming so obedient. So, how much more tayo ng mga manampalataya na tayo ay binago na ni Lord, di ba po? Mm, tama. Binago na tayo ni Lord. Tama. So, ibig sabihin po ay, sige lang, sabi nga, i-expand pa natin, i-extend pa natin ang ating patience and this time nga po ay talagang sobrang, sobrang patience talaga ang in ang in-expand ni Lord sa buhay natin. Amen po. So, Na-exercise po. So, in-exercise yes, yes. talaga yung picture. So, Hi, it's Nato. ano na po, it's 10.30 na, so we will begin. Uh, I, okay. I'd, I'd like to ask you, Pastor, to lead us in prayer. Okay. Nalangin po tayo. So, Father God in heaven, we acknowledge your presence at this moment. Alam po namin, Panginoon, that uh, where two or three gather together in your name, you are in the midst of them. We ask your Holy Spirit right now to be in our midst, your Holy Spirit to guide us, to cleanse us of our unrighteousness, and to give us wisdom and knowledge as well as understanding on your words that we are going to study. Mm-hmm. Give us the God revelation that comes from you, And uh, as we uh, study your word, may we grow in wisdom and knowledge of you and in knowing your emotions, but uh, personally and in our spirit that we also give in the strength and more of faith that uh, your spirit will become more in us, O oh Lord God upang sa ganun Panginoon sa bawat araw na magdaan at pagdadaanan namin habang nandito kami sa mundo yes, yung pag-ibig mo na nasa sa amin yung pag-ibig mo yung yung pagmamahal mo sa mundong ito may we be the extension of your love the extension extension of your compassion the extension Father God of your mercy sa lahat ng mga na, aming nakakasalamuha sa mundong ito. At salamat Panginoon sa gabing ito wherein alam po namin na yung banal na espiritu ay suma sa amin at uh, sa aming study na ito kung saan man mapupunta ang mga word na amin pong pag-uusapan ay nawa ang yung banal na espiritu santo ang siyang tutulong at uh, mm-hmm. uh, magbibigay ng Uh, karunungan at pangunawa sa mga tao makakarinig. Yes, Salamat po, Panginoon, sa gagamitin mo more of your anointing and more of the power of your spirit to be dealt in Him and also, Father God, the, the uh, power of your spirit to be with your word, O oh Lord God, to uh, uh, upang sa ganun, Panginoon, ay mag-convict sa mga tao na makakarinig sa iyong mga salita sa study na ito. Salamat po in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. So at this point in time po ay tayo makakanood muli ng, ng video. Pastor Greg Uy. is in, entering. Yes. Tayo po muna ay makanood ng video na ito. The video that we are going to watch today is actually about uh, the extreme thing that is going to happen in us in case na hindi po natin ma-manage ang stress. No, Ito yung, ito yung bagay na mangyayari sa atin kapag hindi natin ma-manage ang stress. So, wow! We are welcoming on board si Pastor Greg. Say hello, Pastor. Hello po. Uh, say hello to the vlog. Hello po, Pastor. <laughs> Good evening po. You're going to see this on YouTube us. Huh? We will be able to see this on YouTube later on. Talaga. Oh, sige. So let's begin now watching this video. As what I have been telling, ito yung, ano, ito yung extreme na mangyayari kapag nagiging extreme na yung stress. So, uh, pas I spare muna sa iyo nung kasi I I came to know nga na na ano kayo na nagkaroon ng interruption sa inyong internet last time. So, supposedly si send ko yung ano uh, topic. Uh, ano na lang, marami pa naman tayong pag-aaralan. Yung from Genesis to Revelation pastor, di ba pag-aaralan pa natin. Kaya <laughs> we'll have a lot of ano, a lot of sharing from the word of God. Yes. Is it uh, a trial muna natin kung is it loud and clear? Loud and clear po? Clear po, clear, ah, po. loud. Okay. Hey Psych2Goers. Do you remember the last time you felt sad, anxious, or scared that you were somehow off? You're not alone, even if it may feel like it. The National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI, reports sometimes a funk or rough patch can be a sign of something much deeper. This video represents 10 mental health symptoms you shouldn't ignore. Before we begin, we need to warn you that this video may be triggering for some. If you feel triggered by this video, please take care of yourself, even if it means clicking off this video. With that being said, let's talk about the 10 mental health symptoms you should not ignore. 1. You're having feelings of sadness or depression that last longer than two weeks. All people experience sadness at one time or another. However, most normal feelings of sadness get better with time. The American Psychiatric Association reported abnormally intense sadness lasting two weeks could be a sign of depression. The National Institute of Mental Health stated, not being able to snap out of it or sadness being heavier than normal should be taken seriously. Two. You're having extreme mood swings and don't know why. You find that your mood seems to switch super quickly or randomly. Plemp and others studied how often the average person's mood shifts on any given day. According to the National Center of Biotechnology Information, NCBI, this study showed people tend to experience positive emotions, such as joy or love, more often than negative ones. But it's totally normal for someone's emotions to change daily. However, the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, NAMI, warns especially dramatic mood swings that cause huge changes in your behavior and energy can be a sign of bipolar disorder. Agencies such as the American Academy of Pediatrics say the more red flag signs are experiencing sadness, anger, or feelings of excessive euphoria for most of the day, especially if it has nothing to do with what's going on in your life. Three, your worry and anxiety have gotten out of control. Have you ever found yourself worrying but can't shut it off? According to the National Institute for Mental Health, it may be a sign of an anxiety disorder. Other signs of anxiety disorders include insomnia, racing thoughts, unexplained aches and pains, or being easily irritated. The Anxiety and Depression Association of America suggests that if you've ever felt this way on most days for at least six months, you should consider talking to a mental health professional about your symptoms. Four. You've started withdrawing from others or isolating yourself. Taking time away from others can be positive for your mental health and physical health. 
But what if you constantly make excuses to avoid socializing? Mental health pros, such as Raymond Starr Jr. and Howard Dubowitz, say avoiding people or events you used to enjoy can be a sign of mental illness, such as depression, anxiety, or a psychotic disorder. Five, you may have noticed you're having delusions or hallucinations. Kumari and others describe the two aspects of psychosis, hallucinations and delusions, as a sense of perception or belief that creates a lot of urgency in the person experiencing it despite evidence the perception or belief isn't real. The National Alliance on Mental Illness reports up to 100,000 people in the U.S. will experience psychosis every year. NAMI further stated three out of every 100 people will have a psychotic episode as a symptom of a physical or a mental illness, such as schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder, in their lifetimes. Six, you're having more and more difficulty dealing with normal life situations. Have you ever gone through a time in your life when nothing seemed to go right and you just couldn't deal? The Australian Department of Health stated a rough patch that you just can't get past, one that hurts your ability to function for more than two weeks to two months, may be a sign of depression or anxiety. A major sign that what you're experiencing is more than just a rough patch is when you have a hard time functioning in normal situations for several weeks, according to Mental Health America. Seven. You're sleeping too much or too little. The Harvard University School of Medicine believes that 10 to 18% of the general population has problems sleeping. However, Harvard's med school stated either sleeping too much or too little is two or three times more common in people who suffer from a mental illness. The Harvard med school stated about 50% of people who live with ADHD, depression, anxiety, or bipolar disorder suffer from insomnia or hypersomnia, which means sleeping too much. Eight, you started abusing drugs or alcohol. According to mentalhealth.gov, one in four or 25% of people who live with the symptoms of a mental illness use alcohol or drugs to self-medicate things like anger, anxiety, or mania. Experts believe individuals who suffer from depression, anxiety disorders, personality disorders, or schizophrenia are more likely to use drugs and alcohol as a coping mechanism than people diagnosed with other mental illnesses. Nine, you're having extreme anger outbursts. Do you ever feel anger that's almost impossible to control or way too much for the situation? If so, your anger may be warning you about your stress levels, unresolved grief, or your anxiety. Healthline reported extreme anger outbursts can also be a sign of unresolved trauma, bipolar disorder, alcohol abuse, obsessive compulsive disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, or depression. If you wonder if your anger is healthy, experts recommend first recognizing your physical and emotional signs of anger. And 10, you started thinking of self-harm or suicide. The Mental Health Foundation reported up to 10% of people under the age of 30 have thought about self-harm or suicide. There are many reasons people consider self-harm or suicide, such as abuse or neglect at home, a major loss, trauma, or a catastrophe that you can't control or avoid. Bradvik, 2018, reported approximately 90% of people who have completed suicide also suffered from a severe mental illness, such as bipolar disorder or depression. If you find yourself thinking about self-harm or suicide, we would very much like you to reach out to a mental health professional and get the help that you need and deserve. If you can relate to any of these symptoms on this list, you're definitely not alone, nor are you bad for feeling this way. But we want you to take care of yourself which means reaching out to a mental health professional if you've been experiencing any of the symptoms on this list. As always, any information provided here is for educational purposes only. If you need mental health counseling or treatment, please contact your insurance company, local college's student counseling clinic, or your county crisis line. Keep watching the Psych2Go channel for more information on mental illness and mental health. And remember, help is out there. We'll see you in the next video. And so we have just simply watched the extreme condition if a person will not be able to manage his stress. I'd like to ask, um, ano, alin po doon yung, ano, yung may mga little manifestations po tayo or maybe it is a personal manifestation or a manifestation you observed from others? 
alin doon? Yung most likely a personal manifestations or a manifestations you observe from others. Bible study. Huh? Bible study. Ako siguro yung Juan Pastor, yung yung pag na ano ko, pag na stress ako, madali akong ano, magalit talaga. Mabilis akong magalit na ano. That's, And sometimes that's... pati yung ano, yung problema, pag-uwi ko, dala-dala ko pa rin. Mm-hmm. So, hindi pa din na-detach yung ano, yung problema. Mm. And we need to manage Saka that. Siguro yung ano, yung na-experience ko dati na, alam mo, yung Araw na araw, araw araw na biyahe ko sa ano, yung aliin na Abu Dhabi. Siguro kulang talaga ako sa tulog kaya ganoon. Oo. Ah, ganoon, oo nga. Oo. Oh. Yung ang aga mong umalis, alas 5 pa lang umalis ka na. Oo. Oh. Then kasi pagdating ko sa gabi, pagdating ko sa gabi, 6:30, 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Kakain ako, hindi na ako pwedeng matulog kaagad. Oo. Mag- may BS pa dati, di ba? <laughs> Papay nga pa, or oh. minsan may BS hanggang alas dos. Oh, oh. Gigising so, ng ano, gigising yeah. ng 530. <laughs> oh. Nakadagdag nga yan ng stress. Hmm. But you were able to manage that anyway, na, natapos mo man ang, ano na yun, ang, ang journey na yeah, yun. Yeah, well, naka, naka-retire naman, Pastor, sa NPCC. <laughs> <laughs> We are welcoming Sister Ao on the on the Bible study. I think our Bible study tonight will be very productive because we have well experienced brothers and sisters that is supposedly be sharing this this topic with us and not me. <laughs> But this is a collaborative work anyway. Pastor Concha, ano yung ano, ano yung most likely po? Salamat Pastor. Uh, ano yung most likely na na-observe mo na na personally doon sa pinakita nating video na signs or na observe po natin sa iba na mga signs sa ibang tao opo or, or pwede din po na ano personally or uh, um, i mean signs ba na yung under stress ka oo na i-stress ka personally may mga manifestations or na observe mo sa iba Mostly naman, Pastor, na na-observe ko sa... Kung yung na-observe ko sa iba, iba eh, kapag na-stress sila, hindi, hindi naman sila masyadong yung tulad ng maging mainitin ng ulo. May mm-hmm. panahon naman na... Meron ako na-observe na uh, instead na naging mainitin ang ulo, mas nag-withdraw siya. Ibig sabihin, mas mas ginugusto niya yung mapag-isa. Mapag-isa. Parang ganon. Mm-hmm. Oo. Nag-iisa, mm-hmm. nag-iisip, parang ganon. Sa medical point of view, I think Pero, Sister Ao is here. Being isolated ba, uh, Sister Ao, uh, is, it, is it healthy? No. Kung ang tao po ay nai-stress, Parang It's not parang healthy. ano, parang si princess yung nga salita and no. <laughs> not It's very unhealthy yung taong ina-isolate niya ang sarili niya kasi nangyayari yan ano, you should ventilate. Ah, uh, tama yun. Tama. The time that you need somebody to yung yung shoulder to cry on kung talagang ano, it's more therapeutic if you if some there is somebody who will listen to you. Mm-hmm. That's the time that you need uh-huh. an spiritual ears to listen. No, it, somebody it, it, to shoulder, it, it, somebody to hug you. Yun oh. yung time na yan. Na even if Just siguro that, ano, yung mga mga patient natin na ano na COVID-19 positive na naka-isolate, they still need someone to talk to. No? Kaya nga po ay Yun nga pastor. Really, paano naman paano naman natin sila ma, ma ano ba to? Paano natin ma That is, why we, that is why we interested eh. to the medical practitioners and that is why oh, we salute. Oh, oh. Ano, is, ano, yung, ang, ano namin is, meron yung, no, they are entitled to provide them yung mga, yung, yung mga kakakakan yung, no, para kung yung line nila internet. 
So, we can talk to them. Ah, okay. Hindi pa lagi. Kasi once na nagdalawin mo din ha, it's too expensive for the TPEs. So, mm-hmm. may limit na rin when you give the medication. Para Parang minsan ka lang yung, yung pagpunta ng mga staff. So, most of the time, true, true phone. Ininterrelate ah, okay. namin ang mga relatives na tawagan sila. Oh, okay. So, una-una okay. pinubayad namin is internet. Mm-hmm. Sa nila. And then, the doctors will go for round. At saka yung mga staff namin, ininterrelate namin sila na kausapin sila. But kung nandun na sila sa kwarto, grab that opportunity to talk to them. So right now, may mga ano, ginagawa na tayong approach. No? Parang, that's, that's part of the stress management. Either it is a personal stress management or a stress management administered by a health professional towards the, the, the person COVID. who have been uh, isolated due to some cases. So balikan natin yung Tinanong natin kanina na is it healthy for a person to withdraw from from his association with people when he or she is experiencing uh, stress? Totally uh, no. Sister Ao is saying no because totally no. Yeah, we need to ventilate. That is why it is also a learning for all of us, brothers and sisters, that you know, it, it, later on po, may, meron tayong, uh, I think it's the fourth aspect of the ways, of the biblical ways, I think we are so excited to go there and let's just put on hold a little bit on the um, on that particular aspect kasi dadako talaga tayo doon sa bandang iyon. I would like to also ask the indulgence of everyone na uh, if, if you, of course, you have cell phones with you, kapag naipakita natin yung scripture, you can, you can also just simply open the, that scripture para po mabasa din po natin kasi na hindi ko yata na ilagay sa ating screen yung mga scripture. But anyhow, let's go ahead. So, Pastor. Yes, po. Uh, uh, yung kasi kung in-isolate mo ang sarili mo, parang mm-hmm. nagkaroon ka ng set-up emotion. Yung sinasabi niya na ng people mo ka na yung lahat ng yung, yung pain mo, na, nasa iyo lahat. Okay. You need to ventilate it. Kasi if you mm-hmm. cannot ventilate, nakikita mo yun nandun yung mga tao na they go to the borderlines. Nakakaroon yes. uh, sila ng psychological impact. Okay. Nakakaroon sila ng cardio, cardio, mm. ano, cardio problem. Marami okay. na yan, yan yung mga ano, hypertension. May Kasi complications. Kasi you have to, you have to, itapon mo dapat yan. Yung glass of pain, dapat itapon mo. Eh, ano, ano mo talaga yan? Ibuhos mo. Okay. Hindi okay. mo dapat sarili yan. Oh, that is that is clear from the medical perspective no na it's not it's not healthy to isolate yourself so ano na lang kailangan natin is that whenever a person is actually on stress normally ang tendency po is that they tend to be um leaving from the realities parang ano na lang iniiwasan na lamang nila pero it is inevitable nandiyan talaga yan and we really mm. have to to seek Uh, help. So kung titignan po natin yung picture na ipinakikita natin ngayon, uh, invisibly, yun yung, ano, yun yung ganyan kagulo ang nangyayari sa isipan ng isang tao kapag siya ay stress. Parang kung ititrace niyo po ang flow of thoughts, parang napakagulo talaga. No? Buti na hindi lang siya natanggalan ng buhok sa kaguluhan ng kanyang, ng kanyang iniisip. So that's... <laughs> Tinatawalan ako ng Pastora Conrad. That's the flow of thoughts na nandoon sa kanyang isipan as um, that person is actually undergoing a, a stress. Ayan. Saka, ano Pastor, um, pag nag, ano, nakita natin, na-observe natin, give them a say. Pag nakita mo na na talaga hindi na yan, that's the time that you will confront them. Kausapin, yung mga open and then question back. Okay. Hmm, yun ang mga ano doon. Tanungin mo lang. Huwag, huwag ikaw mag-decide. Huwag mag-dictahan or whatever. Just give uh-huh. your ears. Let them bend to me. Ah, okay. Uh, hmm, hindi yung... mo yan. Kung babae yan, you can hug, you can hold the hand. Pwede mong hawakan yung kamay. Uh-huh. Pwede uh-huh. mong yakapin. Okay. 
yun ang mga ano doon. Kasi once na na yan, na may melt yan, they will cry. Pag nag-iyak na yan, nagaan na yan, ano, pakiramdam. Ah, okay. So let, let's go on now to the definition of stress. Ang sabi dyan, kahit isang ano lang, yung first statement lang that is very substantive. Pastora Concha, kindly read po. Stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. Uh -huh. It can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. Stress is your body's reaction to challenge or demand. In short bursts, stress can be positive, such as when it helps you avoid danger or meet a deadline. Uh, meron naman pa ng ano, positive na stress na parang na, na ano ka, it, it elicit immediate action. Pero itong stress na pinakita natin kanina is the extreme one that leads someone uh -huh. or a, a certain people to become um, suicidal, yung sinasabi na kapag hindi natin uh -huh. naagapan. Pag nasabang dali ka na, overload ka na nun. Overload na. na nasa depression na. Yun yung nakakapush. Imagine yung para bang parents na you have to, you know, you have to act more. Oo. Oh, oh. Yung positive. Yes. Constructive stress na ano. Kasi parang ano rin yan eh. Parang ano yun, parang ano rin yan yung blood mo ba? I-dilute mm -hmm. yan. And mas parang na ang blood yung regulation mo. If you know how to control your distress. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dito naman tayo sa ano, stress management. Si Pastora uli kasi siya yung tagabasa natin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, effective stress management helps you break the whole the whole stress has on your life. So you can be happier, healthier and more productive. The ultimate goal is a balanced life with time for work, relationships, relaxation and fun and the resilience to hold up under pressure and meet challenges ahead on uh, yun yung kailangan natin dapat maging resilient tayo so when we manage when we attempted to manage the, the stress nagiging resilient tayo kasi inevitable uh -huh. naman talaga yun pwedeng walang stress sa buhay na ito mayroon talaga uh -huh. stress mayroon talaga kahit na ano kahit na anong time kahit anong edad, na stress Kaya hindi naman uh -huh. pwedeng i-deny natin na wala. Meron. Meron talaga. Pero ang kinakailangan normal, lang. Sabi naman, ano pa, normal lang kung wala ka pang stress na buhay. Uh -huh. So I think we have to say it to the person also na parang uh, hindi po, wala pong tapang naharapin ang stress na abnormal lang buhay mo kapag you don't have a stress. So, Sige lang, is denial already. Oo, oh, oh, denial pa. Denial yun. Denial. It is, it is uh -huh. not true na wala silang stress. Mayroon, may stress talaga lagi uh -huh. sa buhay na ito. We just have to manage it. Nasa ganun, magkaroon ng balance yung buhay natin. And we are going to become resilient. Yes. Mm -mm. Tama rin yung sabi ni Sister Al Pastor. Kasi meron ako nakikita dito na... Kasi ang nakita ko dito, yung ultimate goal para maging ano tayo ng stress, uh, stress hindi na ma-manage natin is we have to have a balance uh, balanced life mm -hmm. in relation and in the, what's this, relaxation and fun. Mm -hmm. Meron ako nakikita dito na nakasamahan ko rin na hindi nga yung balance yung ano, kanyang buhay. Kung baga more on work siya, Okay naman yung ano, okay naman na sinasabi ng mga relationships pero yung relaxation and fun eh wala wala akong nakikita masyado na ginagawa niya and uh, ang nangyayari na, yung pressure niya ngayon nga eh nagkakaroon ng ano pa to o oh, siguro slight na ano lang slight na tumaas yung blood pressure niya, nagka-bells palsy. So, I, I think uh, tama rin na kinakailangan lang natin na ma-ibalance para maging productive yung pag-uhold ano, natin ng stress. Speaking po with the work natin dito sa ating, sa ating mga OFW, 
what do you think? What is your uh, point of view doon sa time schedule natin? Ano ba yun? Masyadong ano, masyado ba tayong ginagamitan ng ano, utilia- utilitarianism na parang parang ginagamit lang po talaga tayo na magiging kumbaga mag-produce and then hindi nare-respeto yung ating yung balance life na kumbaga ano eh parang beyond the 8-hour work or beyond the the weekly duty ang ating natatrabaho ano yung ano yung point of view po sa work work time natin dito ano ano natin yun na di ba may mga protocol may mga mandatory time tayo na we should work on 180 oh, oh. hours, 40, 40 hours a week. Yes. Yan yung pinaka-healthy. Ano yan? 8 hours a day. Kasi yung iba, ano yun? Or, 53 saka 48. Uh, Pero kasi yung ano nila, Pastor Mas, depende naman yan kasi katulad ng nurses. Basta uh-huh. in one month, mag-work sila ng 15 days. Okay. Uh, oh, so the rest, the remaining 15 days, stay off na nila yan. Depende sa kanila if they want to take over time. Ah, okay. That's nice. So 15 days, I, I, wow, well, I'd like. Sila. Kasi 12 so, hours nila eh. Ah, okay. Tama naman. Uh-oh. Tama yan. Oo. Oh. 14, kung 30 days, 14 days to 15 days. Yan na lang pag, well, 13 days of the brand. Mm-mm. 13, 14 days. Kung so, na 31, 15 days. Pag 30 days, 14 days. Uh, ang kanilang routine na ilang sa uh, bahay na sa bahay marami po si Pastora Concha no? okay po let's move on uh, biblical ways of handling stress um, we are blessed to research the study of Sister Elizabeth Moyer na nagsishare po siya ng anim na biblical ways of handling stress. So number one po ay pakibasa po. Worship. Ayan, yun yung ano natin. No? Yun yung pup- papupuntahan talaga natin <laughs> ng mga manampalataya. No? Sa iba po, sa ibang, sa hindi manampalataya, iba yata we na worship nila. Tayo, Anong sinasabi diyan? Stress often comes from more speaking. Pabasa po, Pastora. Uh, ikaw na po. Okay, ako na magbasa. Worship Stress often comes from uncertainty or pressure, which can cause us to angrily blame God or ignore Him when things aren't working like we want them to. It's hard to be angry or ignore God as we worship Him, and He is always worthy of all our praise. If you can find the words, pray through Scripture to help you worship your Creator. Hebrews 12:28, Psalms 95, and Psalms 100. Okay, ang Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28. Let me read it to you. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Oh, with reverence and awe. So, ito yung ano natin each time po na inaatake po tayo ng stress. Balik ng balik tayo kay Lord. And this time na this time around na babalik tayo sa kanya. Ibang ano, yung yung iba po kasi yung iba po kasi mga tao, may mga ritual silang ginagawa, no? May mga gumagamit sila ng mental telepathy. Tayo naman po ay hindi tayo ganyan kasi hindi naman natin kinokontrol ang ang ating isip just to to force ourselves to to attain a situation na parang ma-stabilize tayo but we approach God rev- with reverence and with awe through worship knowing that he is worth our worship knowing that he is worth our praise so yun yung, yun yung ano natin yun yung ating unang unang gagawin kapag ano po kapag tayo ay nai-stress in so many things wala babalik at babalik tayo kay Lord 
through worship. Sa paanong ano po, uh, by experience, Pastora, how it helps you when you are stressed and when you worship, how it helps you? It helps me to become calm, Pastor. Mm -hmm. May mga panahon kasi na talagang parang sasabog na yung utak ko. Mm -hmm. Dahil nga, sabi nga natin, eh, hindi naman natin pwedeng kung minsan na ano ang emosyon, hawak yung emotions natin. Mm -hmm. Pero kapag nag, ano na, kapag uh, sa... Uh, Unang-una, pag, pag uh, ano na, sabi ko, Lord, parang galit na galit ako. Parang ganun muna, parang, nag, <laughs> parang nagsusumbong. Mm -hmm. Muna ako. And then, uh, and then uh, hanggang mapunta na ako doon sa, bakit, uh, bakit uh, parang mas min, I mean, I mean, na may maintain na yung galit ko, bakit ayaw ko ng ganito. Parang, parang nagbabak out ka na, ayaw ko ng ganitong way, Lord. Uh, gusto ko yung, yung way mo and then you can, uh, you can go on na uh, parang napupunta ka na rin sa pag-worship and then makikita mo yung yung kadakilaan ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Kaya nga nung nagtatanong ka kanina ng, ng, ano, ng awit, eh, yung dakilang katapatan ang isa sa mga talagang punta sa isip ko dahil doon, ko, doon mo talaga nakikita yung yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, yung katapatan niya na kahit anong sitwasyon ka naroon ay nandyan siya. Okay. May requirement po tayo before we worship the Lord. Kasi nga, normally, when we, have, when we are in stress, very burdensome. I mean, yung daladala natin sa kalooban natin, sobrang bigat. Daladala natin sa buhay natin, mm. parang very stressful. And it, it really affects the, even the aura, even so heavy so heavy so mm -hmm. hindi natin maiwasan na mm -hmm. when we come before the lord when we come before the lord so heavy si pastor greg mm -hmm. al alam na alam yan when, during during a praise and worship yung yung opening pa lang yung pagpasok pa lang pa umpisa pa lang para ang bigat dalhin ng church when when they are you know, starting the ano the praise and worship kasi nga there is this spirit of heaviness kasi nga daladala ng mga tao yung Sobrang bigat. Parang iniisip nila. Pag oh, oh. pumunta sila ng, ng, ano, ng church, hospital nga yun. Well, well, ganyan nga ang JCM. Ganyan nga na-envision na ang JCM. ICU nga tayo. Kaya pinupuntahan tayo ng mga tao na may sakit. Uh -oh. So, uh, it's very heavy. Um, that is why so important na since right, right now na nagbabago study tayo and yung attitude natin dapat towards yung approach natin patungko sa stress dapat po ngayon ay alam na alam na natin to kung kumbaga kung sa professional professional na tayo maghandle nito is that when when we have to come before the lord um we have to come to him by worshiping him of course we have to come with a joyful heart no pupunta tayo sa kanya with a joyful heart No, ang ang problema dito is that hmm. paano ka maging joyful na heavy ngayon <laughs> heavy ngayong damdamin mo, di ba? <laughs> paano ka maging joyful ngayon na bigat na mabigat na bibigat ang damdamin mo? So, dapat po da, dapat po ay at the time na kung saan naka-insul na tayo, naka-ready na tayo na mag-worship, dapat po nandoon talaga yung reverence and awe natin kasi ang kakaharap yeah. po natin ay yung King of Kings, di ba po? So tandaan nung po natin yung mga yung mga tao nga po sa sa UK when they pay respect to their kings and queen talagang ano yan may dala pa yang bulaklak nagsusuot pa yan ng napakaganda at pumapalakpak talaga yan na pumapalakpak talaga yan what is that for you know when when the presence of the king is there in exact place na kung saan na naroon ka it seems that, that, that there is hope na nagpapalit doon sa stress natin. It seems na naging mm. joyful tayo na nakita natin yung king. Nakita natin yung queen. Mm -hmm. So similarly then kapag lumapit tayo sa Panginoon, uh, we we have to to step on to that ka to the another level of of healing na kung saan yes, I am with the king and knowing the fact na nandoon yung king siya kasi yung nagja-judge eh, di ba? Siya yung magja-judge, siya yung magagrant. Mm nung mga bagay-bagay sa buhay natin. So, we are always hopeful that when we come before the Lord in worship, 
ibig sabihin ko yung invitation na to come unto me all of you who are heavily laden mayroon po tayong rest no magre-rest po yung mm-hmm. ating mm-hmm. ano yung ating ating buhay and then sabi po doon sabi din po sa verse 2 ng chapter 95 of Psalms let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and singing kaya hindi maiaalis sa atin talaga yung pag-awit mm-hmm. At saka hindi may alis sa atin ang pagpapasalamat. So, dala-dala talaga natin dapat mm-hmm. yung pagpapasalamat natin sa Lord. Kahit na hindi pa po natin natanggap ang kasagutan ng ating mga panalangin. So, kumbaga in advance, pinapasalamat na natin sa Panginoon yung mga mangyayari sa buhay natin. No? So, yun. I-unload lang natin sa Panginoon ang mga bagay-bagay na yan in, in worship. And then ang Psalms chapter 100 naman this is a a favorite psalm sa mga po, sa mga praise and worship dahil ito yung ito yung invitation Amen. ito yung invitation sa kanya na hindi lamang para tayo pumunta sa kanya with ano with a joyful heart dito po pinapaliwanag kapag joyful heart anong ginagawa shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the Lord with gladness, come before Him with joyful song. So, dito sa Psalm 100, dinidescribe ang pagiging joyful. Kasi may, may joyful kasi na parang pansamantala lamang. Ito, mayroong kasamang hallelujah, may kasamang yell, may kasama po na pagsigaw, ng, isinisigaw mo po ang, ang kadakilaan ng ating Panginoon. And hmm. It is a stress reliever, you know, when the, the Lord actually knows how to ventilate our stress. When, when a person mm. actually having stress, normally, kinakailangan lang sumigaw. <laughs> kailangan sumigaw para ma-ventilate, di ba? So ngayon, i-isigaw natin sa Lord, sabihin natin sa Lord ang mga bagay na ito. Amen. Ang sigaw Kani, kasi sa mga Christian pastor is prayer. Yes, prayer and praise. Oh. Yun ang sigaw. Mm. Ano natin. Oo. Oh. Oh. Nandito na tayo sa pangalawa. Yun yung sinabi ni Sister Aw. Advance talaga si Sister Aw. Ito yung pangalawa mm. na sinasabi, di ba? Sinasabi natin na worship or sigaw. It's prayer and, and pray. So dito no, naman, ang sinasabi dyan, this one seems very obvious but something harder than it seems. Ibig sabihin po, when we are, ano po, when we are on stress, kinakailangan po natin na mag-push din. Kinakailangan natin na, hey, g- mm. kinakailangan gisingin din natin yung sarili natin. Kinakailangan, uh, uh, uh. Oh, kinakailangan mag-push din. Kinakailangan meron ka din, meron ka din gagawin sa sarili mo na, na beyond the usual. Na kapag magpapatalo ka kasi sa emotion mo, minsan yung katawan mo sumasali din eh. Diba? So kinakailangan mm. gising-gising uh, uh. po natin. Kinakailangan may push Di ba, alam natin yung meaning ng push. Uh, pray until something happens. Di ba po, yun yung push. Yun yung, ano, yun yung kinakailangan natin ipapaalala sa sarili natin kapag tayo po yung na-stress. Parang gising tayo, conscious tayo of our situation and we need to bring this to the Lord through prayer. Kaya nga, praying mm. through... Mm. Yes. Practical application. mm what you've learned. Yung mga biblical ano natin na mga ano yan that this is where you can apply. This, yes. Those are yung sinasabing push. Oo. Kailangan natin Mm-mm. i-push. Oh. Di ba po, Sister Ao, yung sa panganganak po, can you des- describe why it is important? Yung, yung pag-push din, di ba parang coordinated yun. Can you explain so, us a little bit about yung push hindi, during hindi, sa panganganak? Push, Sige po. Hindi naman gagalaw yung ano eh hindi ano yung bata. So you have to bear down. Talagang na dun yung push mo talagang hindi yung parang ano, yung parang tatay ko talaga. Uh-uh. So you have to push the blood na. Kaya may mga help yung, yung mga kamay na ipupusin ito para bumaba yung bata. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Pe, pero hindi yung yung pagpupush na coordinated, hindi yung, yung may timing siya, di ba po? Oo. Yun na lang kuwan, Pastor. Yes. Pastor, yun na lang ano, pagtutulak ng sasakyan. Okay. Okay, pag hindi well coordinated yung mga nagtutulak na sasakyan, di ba? Pag hindi nagkakaisa yung nagtutulak, 
Kahit na marami. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh-huh. Tutlak hindi siya well coordinated. Uh-huh. Hindi nila may pupush yung sasakyan. Oo. Uh, okay. tama. So may mga may mga uh-huh. analogy tayong ginagamit ngayon which is so ano so relative kasi nga sa sa pamagitan po ng prayer ano. So um di, dito sa prayer uh-huh. natin um we need if we we need to be to be alone with the Lord although it, itong time na to no ito, itong time na to nagsisiklude tayo kasi it is like a personal prayer or if there is a requirement for you to be prayed upon do not be ashamed to do that and that is what we are doing during our prayer meeting na uh-huh. kung saan ay sinasabi po mm-hmm. natin yung mga bagay na personal and then we seek the assistance of our brothers and sisters to pray Kasi nga po, yung 1 Thessalonians chapter mm-hmm. 5, verse 17 says, Pray continually or pray without ceasing. This, this, seem, this seem to be Tulad. giving us implications na magpupush natin until something happens sa mga pinapanalangin natin. Amen, amen. amen. Tulad din po, Pastor, na ano, sa, when it comes to our prayer, prayer din ito, di ba? Na mm-hmm. yung pagpupush natin. Yes. Kasi may mga panahon na when you are when you are down, stress ka. Parang parang hindi mo na magawa na parang ang hirap na magpray. Uh-uh. Pero ang isa sa isa sa mga pwede nating gawin eh tulad din ni King David na pinus niya yung ano eh sabi niya nga sa Psalms 103, di ba? Na sabi niya, "Bless the Lord, O my soul, that, and all that is within me." Uh-uh. Parang hirap at this at this time habang ina-analyze ko yung yung Psalms 103 uh, para hirap siya na talagang pupunta sa sa panalangin oh. pero pinipilit pinipilit niya yung kaluluwa niya kaya sabi niya bless the lord o my soul and all that is within me yun ang sabi niya eh and bless the lord your god sabi niya and forget not all his benefits kasi kapag iniisip mo yung mga benefits na pinagkaloob sa iyo ng Panginoon yun yung panahon na nagpo-postro sa iyo na mag, magiging thankful ka di ba magiging uh, mag-worship ka sa sa kagalakan hindi dahil alam mo na ang Panginoon ay naging faithful sa iyo amen yun ang nakikita ko doon sa panahon na yun eh uh, ayan sinasynchronize May sinasabi si Sister Ao? Mm-mm. Hindi, hindi kasi nagsasabay yung audio namin, Pastor. Ah, okay, okay. May, may, may parang may sumusunod sa ha, paulit, inuulit yung sinasabi. Uh-huh. Parang mm-hmm. naging echo. Oo. Parang Ay- ano, hayaan mo in, parang in, may echo. In one week time, introduce po natin yung live streaming sa YouTube para ano po, para direct na tayo sa YouTube and then doon na tayo magbabible study. Parang doon yata nagsisynchronize yung ating audio. And be ready also pass with the guitar kasi nga ikaw yung uh, magigitar. <laughs> so that we can sing original songs. No. Now, there is an assurance po kapag tayo nananalangin. This is in First John chapter 5 verses 14 to 15. Sabi po dito, mm-hmm. this, is, this is the confidence we have in approaching that we have in if that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we asked of him so hindi naman tayo bibigo, bibigo ni lord may sagot yan yung mga panalangin mm-hmm. natin sa kanya uh-huh. so we Amen. just have to unload to him all the the prayer concerns and all the stresses na meron tayo ngayon sa sarili natin. Amen. Can we move on Amen. para po sa number three? Ayan, pastora uli. Ask for help. So, nga, okay, Stress Maria. can be a signal that we are overloaded with too much in our plate. Uh-uh. It's a humbling reminder that we're finite and fallible. If you're under a load of stress, it may be time to ask for help from family, friends, or co-workers. If you are experiencing physical, mental, or emotional stress resulting from trauma, seek help immediately. Okay, a question along. Why is it so hard for some people to ask for help? 
right. Uh -uh. right. Because of their food. Okay, that's one thing. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, and other people also, uh, I mean, tend to, to, to be ashamed in disclosing their, I know, their situations. Why is that so? Yes. Dahil nag-iisip nga sila ng negative, Pastor. Na negative, agad. No? Na Parang, baka, oo. Na baka ka... itong imbes na magsi, mag ano ako ng, kung sasabihin ko kaya sa kanya itong mga bagay na ito, maintindihan kaya ako, hmm. or, or baka naman, baka naman sasabihin nila na, Yung ba, parang inuunahan na niyang iniisip pa kung ano yung mga mangyayari kung magsasabi siya ng mga kalagayan niya. Parang ganun. Hmm. Balikan natin yung sinabi ni Sister Ao kanina na it's, it's pride. Um, parang it is so nakakalalaki kung hihigi ka ng, ano, hihigi ka ng parang assistance from others. Ang feeling Iba, na... Kasi... Yeah stress natin pastor eh na pwede kang yun yung minsan yung pride mo pero yung iba sabi nga ni sister ay ni pastora mahihiya o nag-iisip na na parang hindi ma-accept o hindi maintindihan di ba? Di ba? Pero pero pag tayo kung meron kaya nga sabi ko you must find somebody a shoulder to cry, o, cry on talagang pero talagang meron kang kaibigan na mapagsabihan Okay we have to mm -mm. Tama, we have to take, you know. If you can assess your congregation, yung mga tao, makikita mo talaga, ma, yung mga signs, uh -huh. maybe you can approach them. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. we are learning from the words of Sister Ao in here. Kasi nga, yung ask, when you are asking for help, especially um, if it is like a personal problem, I think you, you can uh -huh. ask a help to those with whom you have trusted already na parang hmm. hindi hindi kasi hindi naman Tama, siya so pastor. hindi naman siya social problem di ba so right now and now mm -mm -mm. dapat meron ka ng identified person dito na family member mm -mm. friends mm -mm. co-worker mm -mm. na you can you can ah. rely on or a shoulder to cry on uh, especially for mm -mm. a situation like this hindi hindi mm -mm. siya ano hindi siya pala, hindi siya lahat kaya kaya nga yung iba nahihiya because they already have prejudgments about the possible uh -oh. possible situations. So, this saka, time, uh, ano po? Saka, kung, kung minsan, Pastor, uh, uh, hindi lahat ng tao uh, nakakaintindi. Yes, tama po. Tama. Oh, po yan. yan po. Yan po. Okay. Kasi um, nga po, ako minsan, uh, imbes na kung minsan ay tinutulungan ka ng o napaghingan mo ng tulong, instead na tinutulungan ka, kung minsan sila pa yung mga nagiging sagabal sa sa pag uh, ma-manage mo sa stress mo. So, nai-stress ka tuloy. May mga pahon na ganun, Pastor. In, instead na matutulungan ka, nag-judge ka, parang ganun. The, the they are adding, stress. Ano, they are adding, adding other injury. Ah, yeah, uh, they are adding uh, just other uh, other uh, injuries. I cannot understand you. Ah, adding ano pa yun? Na stress uh -oh. ka tapos nung nag nag consult ka sa kanila, mas lalo mas lalo ka na stress. Hmm. Kasi 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 Kung baga may sugat ka na nga, mm -mm. inanohan pa nila ng asin yung sugat mo. Oh my God. Ang Di mas lalo ka na ano. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, Hindi... Mas lalo ka ng nasasaktan. Mas Masyado lalo kang ka... parang parang nawala. Mas lalo ka na, na. na trauma. Okay. Okay, this time oh, around, oh. this time around po, since we have been learning a lot about disclosing our problem and asking for help, can we, ano, do we have someone, I mean, have we identified a member of the family? Of course, kung married ka, the husband and then the wife. Pumunta na lang tayo dun sa ano. Uh, uh, si, kay Pastora, mm -hmm. Sa case po ni Pastora, since si Pastora po 
if we're going to disclose po ay um, we do na po si Pastora. In this time po na sa mga stress mo, kanino mo ni disclose na family member po? Pastor, hindi naman lahat. I mean, yeah. Hindi lahat ng tao pwede mo. Ano, ano, anong level ba ng stress mo? Oo. Is this Uh-oh. something na you can... Kasi pwedeng may disclose mo sa pastor. Pero minsan kasi may mga medical problems. So you have to find somebody. Yes, yes. Mm. You're correct. So I think... I think, oh, ito, kaibigan ko to, I will disclose, no? no. Minsan siguro, you... An- 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 assess mo, i-analyze mo. Uh-uh. Kung kayo mga pastor, mga pastor, nakikita nila yan, yung isang congregation na eh, may problema. Then you can delegate. You can, ano, pwede sabi mo, oh, ganito pa humingi ng tulong, ganito. Or you can approach somebody to help that person. Okay, sa church level, of course, doon kayo sa pastor lumapit. Ano po? Mm-hmm. And then, kung it's like a, like a family problem that could be uh, resolved within the family, mayroon dapat tayong trusted na, ano, trusted within the family na bago natin i-resolve as a, parang family as a whole, mayroon kayong trusted person within the family whom you have disclosed so that you'll be able to strategize kung paano i-resolve ang, ang problems. And, of course, may mga uh-huh. naman tayo, may mga BFF man din tayo na kung saan we, have, we, we already had trusted. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mayroon pang co-workers. Oh. Pero dapat, uh-huh. mayroon din tayong tinatawag na control as to whom and to, to, uh-huh. to which group are we going to, to disclose that that kind of information. Dapat may korta, Pastor. Oo. Meron, meron pa din. Mer, meron, nagkukontrol naman sa atin ng Holy Spirit. Di ba po? Siguro kahit yun sa mga prayer requests, Pastor. Opa. Yung mga prayer requests na yung mga nagkakaroon ng mga stress problem, titignan mm-hmm. nyo din yung audience where you want to disclose it. Kasi mm-hmm. yung mga iba na, na hindi pa nila maintindihan ba? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, okay. Um, may mga sina- may sinabi sister ako kanina about uh, seeking for medical help if if the stress was actually being brought by um, I mean we can declare at it's it's like a medical condition kagaya ng ginawa nating ginawa na video kanina na kung saan uh-huh. mayroong association na <clears throat> na mga nag assess sa mga tao po na uh-huh. mayroong ganitong condition so <clears throat> either it is like a personal mm-hmm personal problem or a, a problem of the person whom you knew, tutulungan natin, tutulungan po natin sila. Now, let us be reminded mm-hmm. by the words of Paul to the Romans in Romans chapter 12 verses 4 to 5. Ang sabi niya dito po ay, For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so as in Christ, so in Christ we do many, many from one body. Each member belongs to all the others. So ito naman binibigyan po tayo ng isang perspective na kumbaga, when there are stresses that cause us so much trouble, there is always a body of Christ wherein you can be of help. Actually po, dapat ang church talaga ay equip ng ano, equip ng mga doktor equipped ng mga psychologists, equipped ng mga educators. Dapat nakatuon na sa sentro ng ministry ng church yung pagtulong ng lahat ng aspeto ng pangangailangan ng tao. So, ipapipray natin yan na ma-equip ang church ng uh, mga enough na mga workers to assess the need, the need of, of, of all the, the church members. Kasi dapat galing sa church ang atulong. Kasi minsan, kung, kung psychology na unbeliever, ang kanilang approach na gagawin, pang unbeliever din. So, dapat may Christian psychologist na mag-assist. Tama. Ayan. Ano tayo? Tama. Number ano na tayo? Number four. Pastora. Number four. Si community. Community, okay. It's easy to give. 
Sige po. Diretso na ako, Pastor? Sige po. Sige po. It's easy to give up community when we are stressed about anything from a to-do list to family trauma or nightmare. The body is meant to strengthen us when we are weak, help us in times of need, support us during difficulties, and celebrate God's faithfulness with us. Resist the urge to walk away from the body of Christ when you feel overwhelmed. Even a simple prayer request over text message keeps you plugged in, plug in to people who care about you. Okay, what? I'd like to I'd like to um, throw a question. How how important it is that you know we are gathering in person. That was before the the quarantine, and how different it is that we are gathered in in this platform online. Kasi nung nung naggagather tayo pastor. Yes. Yes. Yung face-to-face, malaking bagay yan. Mm-mm. Meron yung, alam mo yung, yung the smile, the top of yung, yung shaking hands, yep. at yung sisipisin pa lang yan, kung may mga Mm-mm. problema, malaking bagay na yan. Itong, itong, itong ano, may limitation ito eh, itong ano natin, itong Mm-mm. ganito. It's true communication lang. Wala yung talaga yung yung verbal communication na ano ba yun nung yung mas intimate yes wala yung touch ano touch smile touch physical touch wala yung touch wala yung intimacy wala wala yung physical touch intimacy oo so yun yung ano natin mata yung tingin mo sa mata pwede makikita mo naman dito pero iba naman yung ano diba taba kasi yung parang tinignan mo na yung concern na malaking bagay na yung Mm-mm. Okay. Um, we are actually praying and in, in fact our heart also bleeds that we will not be able to be with you ng matagal na panahon na po. So we really miss, in fact, uh, our brethren also is expressing their concerns right now and sending me SMS na pasto namimiss ko na talaga ang community namimiss ko na talaga yung time na nagbabible study tayo and we were together and one thing that we can assure of I, I think this time yung the passion that 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 is in our heart today is increasing and I, I believe through prayer we will be able to do that again in in few few weeks or few months once we are going to be allowed talagang yung affinity natin hindi virtual kapag nakikita-kita tayo iba talaga iba talaga pagka ano eh pagka nakikita-kita tayo nagkakasama-sama tayo and then yung mm-hmm. kasi sabi ni Lord eh, laying of hands day eh, laying of hands talagang ilay ilay ng hands in person Nandun talaga yung ano nandun yung blessing mm, that ganoong uh, it matatouch mo yung tao na eh, ano yes po so ayan gagawin natin yan amen gagawin natin yan yung Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 to 25 gagawin natin yan in person and number 5 number 5 na tayo pastor read scripture Okay, read the scripture. Ano yung scripture, scripture na basa natin pastor. kanina? Sino magsishare ng scripture na basa kanina? Kaya ng umaga po na na-enlighten kayo. Application tayo. Uh, ano ba yung ano ko? Scripture reading ko kanina umaga. Mm. Yung nabasa nating scripture kanina na na-enlighten ano? po tayo. Meron akong nabasa kanina umaga pero hindi ko na ano eh. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ah, to uh, sa Proverbs, Proverbs okay. to Proverbs chapter 10 verse uh, 8 ang sabi niya, blessings are on the heart, the head 
of the righteous, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. So, pwede pa hawakan yun so, sa may mga ano ah. Sa may mga kinakahanap na case. Oo, pastor. Mm-hmm. Blessings. Uh, ito naman kasi pastor, ang inaano ko dito, ang naging, kumbaga ang, kung bakit nag-ano sa puso ko to na sabi niya, blessings are in the heart of the righteous. Kasi, nag nag-iisipit kasi ako muni muni ako kanina umaga na malapit na naman ang berber okay. parang naiisip ko si partner mm-hmm. at yung nangyari sa kanya parang parang walang katarungan parang mm-hmm. ganun parang iniisip ko ba na parang walang katarungan yung nangyari dahil hanggang ngayon hindi namin alam kung anong anong dahil yung kasama niya dati hindi talaga nagsalita ang sabi lang niya sa akin noon, nagso-sorry siya nang nagso-sorry. So, ano kaya yung tunay na nangyari? Bakit naging ganun ganon na lang? Parang nagaganon ako. Pero nung ano ko, nung sabi na, na blessings are in the head of the righteous, sabi ko, sa balay Panginoon, ipinagaya ko na sa iyong mga kamay ang mga pangyayaring ito that I, I know that there will be blessing kahit naman nang ganun ang nangyari. Maging blessing pa rin sa ating mag-iina dahil hindi naman namin, hindi naman namin hawak ang nakasalubong na lang yan. 'Yun ang sinasabi ko na lang. Okay. Ah. Ayun. Oh. Today's scripture po sa Daily Bread ay Colossians chapter 6 at chapter 1 verse. Nakasan pa? Which oh, says, yeah. yun, the gospel is bearing fruit okay. and and growing. So mm-hmm. tayo naman po ay may dala-dala talaga tayong mabubuting balita which is the gospel. And the, the the very gospel that we have right now is our testimonies na dala-dala natin sa buhay natin. I know for sure that the Lord is going to to increase our territories of influence as we bring the gospel to uh, to the people. It's a reminder po for, for all of us since our life is a living gospel right now to keep it and to maintain a good testimony so that people are going to see us as a real b- believer na nakikita nila sa atin ang ating Panginoon Jesus. I think this is like a very basic thing but very important thing for all of us na lagi nga itong ipinapaalaala sa atin ni Pastor Bong na like pure, pure spiritual milk, kinakailangan we have to crave for it. So, darating po tayo dyan sa pag-aaral ng scripture. Umbisan po natin sa Genesis and then kung papayagan tayo ni Lord, uh, matatapos natin hanggang revelation yan, isishare natin yan chapter by chapter kung i-allow tayo ng ating Panginoon. Because there are so many learnings right now. Kasi darating ang time na kung saan mabawiin na ang scripture, no? tatanggal na tayo ng karapatang magkaloon ng, ng uh, literal na Biblia na nanakawin ng kalaban. Uh-huh. At least tayo-tayo ay naka-inscribe na sa puso natin ang mga salita ng Diyos hindi man po natin masa ulo ng intoto or kung, kung word for word, pero naka-inscribe na sa uh-huh. puso natin. Lalabas na lang yun kapag kailangan natin, uh, kailangan natin ito. Uh-huh. So, one of the remarkable thing na ating pong, ating pong mababasa sa, sa Word of God na pinaalala mismo ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, na man does not live on bread alone, but by the very word that comes from the mouth of God. So, ang ipinapa hangi po dito ng ating Panginoong Jesus is that um, hindi po tayo dapat mag-focus lamang sa perahan, sa paghanap ng ng pagkain ng ating ng ating physical na pangatawan because the Lord will never leave us abandoned in terms of this. He is actually our provider. So, ang, ang sinasabi ni Lord, pag pag-isipan po natin at ipong ipaprioritize ang pagkain spiritual na mayroon pong tinatawag na eternal value. So, pagdating po na tayo po ay mm-hmm. na-stress marahil mayroong portion sa ating buhay na kung saan sinasakop ng stress. Pero kung isaturate po natin yung ating puso with the Word of God, naroon na kung saan all of this will be gone. All of this, you are going to be stress-free. And then another stress again. Kasi nga, uh, lagi-lagi namang dumadating yan. Pero ang panlaban natin lagi, ang Word of God. 
the scripture that is found in the word of God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tama. Uh, lastly po, Pastora. Examine your Lord. Ah. Examine your Lord. Hmm. Galatians chapter 6 exhorts believers to share burdens as part of loving our neighbors and encouraging Christ-likeness. The Apostle Paul also, however, reinforces responsibility for ourselves. You are responsible for what's on your plate. Too much prolonged stress may mean it is time to draw some boundaries. Mm -mm. Start saying no and lightening your own load. Ah, yun tama. naman pala eh, di ba? Okay. So, tama yung sinabi sa kayo ng sister, ni Sister Ao kanina na uh, we also have to examine kung ano ba yung we have to assess also kung ano ba yung mga stress na kinakailangan natin isik ng help. Kasi may mga mm-hmm. stress naman na kayang-kaya naman natin gawin. Kayang-kaya naman natin um, in, kumbaga, i-manage I- with, uh, with, with our own Pero may mga ano, may mga may mga uh-huh. stress talaga that is parang beyond uh, beyond our capacity to resolve. In fact, sa Galatians chapter 6 uh-huh. nga, may example dito na na-stress ka sa kapatid dahil mayroong ginagawang kasalanan. And then, ang sinasabi po ng ano, ang sinasabi po ng ng word of God, kung kaya mo siyang kung kaya mo siyang i-admonish, kung kaya mo siyang pangaralan, uh-huh pangaralan mo mm-hmm. pero mag-ingat ka mm-hmm. din na hindi ka mm-hmm. ma-virus. <laughs> mag-ingat ka na hindi ka ma-virus doon sa kanyang ano. Parang yung ano to ah. Ano ha? ba to yung parang yung parang yung ano ba to yung nasa sinehan pati pastor. Mm. So na na-virus. Oh, na, na na-virus no. Hindi ka mag mag-ingat ka din. And then verse 2 ang sinabi doon Carry each oh, other's burden. You will not be contaminated. You will yeah, not tam- be affected. Tama uh-huh. po yung ano. Contaminated. Yeah. Yeah. I, always, right term. I, I, I always hear that medical term from ano, from Sister Ao. That's the right term for this. No? And then yeah, verse, that, verse the right two, term. Contaminate. Yeah, verse 2 po ang sinabi, Carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law burden. of Christ each other's burden. So, uh-huh. apag, kapag sinasabi, ito po ay ano eh. Parang mayroon, Matthew 1128, um, pastor yan eh. Oh. They carry each other's burden. Mm-mm. Ang 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 sinasabi po dito is that mayroon talaga dapat na, na tinatawag na openness to to lend a help. Especially kung iba nakikita naman natin Transparency. yan. Transparency. Eh. Actually, sa ating pong community, sa ating pong church, makikita naman natin kung sino ang anin. Sino ang mga problemado eh? Sino ay may mga, mga mm-hmm. very stressful? Kasi yung mga tao na, mm-hmm. na stressful, they, they are isolating themselves from you. Uh, kung, kung ano ka, nanonood ka sa mga Facebook post nila, they are, I mean, laging, ano, laging galit, di ba? So laging sinishare yung mga problems <laughs> nila sa social Mawal media. Mawal na naman yan, Pastor. Ano po? Ano po? Yung mga over ano sa Facebook. Oo nga, may mga ano, may mga kapatid tayo na may mga ganun pong mga mga nararanasan sa buhay nila. So we are being commanded by the Lord. First and foremost, uh, di ba po naalala po natin ang kapag nasa ano tayo nasa eroplano tayo. Ang ang paalaala sa atin ng 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 stewardess is that bago natin bago tayo tumulong sa sa tao po, especially during the time of emergencies, kinakailangan muna anong gagawin? Mag, mag ano ka muna, isuot mo secure muna. Secure yourself. Oh, secure yourself secure muna. Mo. Oh, oh, secure, secure yourself muna. muna. Ang sarili safety mo. Oh, oh. Your, sa- your safety before oh, you can help others. Tam- tama po. So, uh, uh, hindi po, hindi po po pwede, hindi po pwede sa isang manampalataya na ganito. Ikaw, uh, very stressful ang buhay mo and then inaatupag mo yung stress ng iba. Uh-uh. I mean, I mean very stressful yung buhay mo and then inaatupag mo yung stress ng iba. So, ano mangyayari ngayon? Sasabog, uh-uh. kal- sasabog ka later. Wala, well, so, sasabog ka pa. And how could you be a 
how could you be a testimony to them if ikaw mismo mayroong nakikitaan nila ng i mean ng unmanageable na na stress sa buhay mo well, well hindi hindi naman ibig sabihin na puro tayo ano puro tayo stress free pero mayroon tayo talagang mga mga loads no so ito hmm. lang kaya pa ba no kaya pa bang i-manage kaya pa bang idagdag sa load natin yung problema ng, ng ibang tao? So we have to Meron pa bang space sa plate mo? That you Meron pa bang space? Mo Oo, yun. Na, mayroon yeah. pa ba? Kaya nga, it is important na i-re-relinguish natin sa iba, i-consult din natin sa iba yung responsibility na ito. So, uh, similarly, kahit sa, ano, kahit sa Bible study po, um, hindi naman kailangan na sobrang dami. Kailangan, kailangan mm-hmm. at least five and then another schedule five maximum for bible study six person oh six person so kailangan pa natin ng ano kailangan pa natin ng tatlo ah yes kailangan pa natin ng tatlo so we will ano we will express our invitations by next week ano may suggest natin na topic ni sister aw by next week could you be our speaker sister aw oh could you be our speaker next week ano yung pastor? Yung pangmalan ng stress? Yapping? <laughs> <laughs> sa plate mo, sa plate mo, sa yapping? Pwede ano, yung coping na lang. Pwede yung coping. Coping oh, is stress. Up with stress. Oo, oh, oh, opo. Sige po. O oh, sige. So we will be, ano, ipopromote natin yan sa ating, ano, sa ating uh, Facebook page that you will be speaking and then coping with, ano, coping with stress. May mga mechanisms siya mm-hmm. on how to cope nitong ano po, nitong stress na po. One thing dito sa conclusion na ating pong sasabihin is that may word po na recalibrate our spiritual response. What did you understand about the word? Si Pastor Greg po. Siguro dito, uh, sabi dito, these biblical practices help recalibrate our spiritual response to stressors that disrupt equilibrium in our lives. Siguro, Pastor, gaya nga sinasabi natin kanina, no, na, alam mo minsan, uh, na siguro yung dapat kailangan din natin, ano, uh, kontrolin kung ano talaga yung pumapa, yung gusto nating papasukin sa isip natin. Yes. Kasi, yung, mm-hmm. ano, yung, 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 kung ano yung gusto mong papasukin dyan, na kung sa isip mo that will determine the stress level eh. uh-huh. yun ang magdidetermine ng stress level but then ang, ang sinasabi kasi rito sa, ano, sa Philippians 4.6 sabi dito be anxious for nothing but in uh-huh. everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving uh-huh. let your request be known to God so regardless regardless whether uh, uh, he, wala ka sa mood mag pray or mm-hmm. nandoon ka sa mood, ano, it doesn't, ano, it doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't uh, give any concern about that, no. Mm-hmm. Pero ang sinasabi rito, it's not kwan, eh, hindi, hindi, uh, ag dito, hindi, hindi siya, kwan, hindi siya request. Mm-hmm. But then, God, God, simply God is asking us, not to be anxious for nothing. Uh-huh. Kasi pag, pag ang okay, kasi pag uh, ano, when in, when worry comes the you know overcomes us. Yes. Ano yung ano ano yung ano yung lumalabas sa atin? Uh-huh. Para bang hindi tayo nagtatrust sa Panginoon. Oo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Natitim tayo. Oo. Uh-huh. 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 Parang hindi tayo nagtatrust sa Panginoon. Kasi yung sinasabi niya rin, napakaliwana doon. Be anxious for nothing, but in in everything, oh, by prayer and supplication, hindi siya kwan. Regardless kung ano pa man yan ang ano, problema mo. Uh-huh. Whether it's a simple problem, a big problem, or whatever problem. Ang, ang sinasabi niya rin, uh-huh. if, say it in prayer. Uh-huh. Okay? Ayan. So, um, i- i- ano kailangan natin ano kailangan natin siguro ng kwan natin I mean we have to we have to uh, 
uh, learn how to ano to control kung ano talaga yung gusto natin papasukin diyan sa sa isip natin kasi kung problema natin lahat problema na natin yung problema ng ano ng buong mundo hindi natin kakayanin yan <laughs> di ba ah ama aliba yung problema ng China hindi natin kala problema yan okay so we had to ano we had to learn we had to recalibrate kung ano yung ano yung gusto nating ano ano yung gusto nating uh, stress level sa ano sa ating isip ano ba yung gusto nating ano ano ba yung gusto nating ano gusto ba nating problemahin natin lahat yung ano problema ng ano ng UA o Pilipinas hindi naman natin kaya natawa naman ako doon sa problema natin lahat <laughs> <laughs> kaya nga. Kaya nga. So, so we, have to, ano, we have to we have to learn how to control kung ano yung gusto natin ano ano yung kasi again at the end of the day it's how we manage eh paano natin i-manage yung stress paano natin i-manage yung mga problema natin yung mga worries natin <laughs> di ba natawa mo na ako do separate problem din ba parang ano ito pastor eh yung yeah. Practices help reca- recalibrate our spiritual. Mm-hmm. Parang ano tayo, parang it's like a medicine. Okay. The, the mm. biblical, itong mga biblical, ano, nung itong mga knowledge and wisdom na natutunan natin, mm. na ano tayo, nagiging strengthen yung ano natin when we are coping with stress, lumalakas tayo, hindi tayo, Mm-mm. hindi tayo natutumba. Mm-mm. Because of those, uh, yung, yung, natut- yung mga itong mga biblical biblical uh, teachings yun ang nagkakalibrate sa atin na tumataas ang ano natin ang ang immunity natin kumbaga sa ano sa mga stress kung sakit yan hindi Amen. ka matutumba Amen. hindi ka hindi ka babagsak because you are calibrated with the biblical word biblical mga teachings mo it's not easy na ma- mabagsak ka you are well ano na na ano eh ma, na babalance mo in equilibrium iba yung mga ano mo diyan yung response mo is mm-hmm. hindi ka ano yon mataas ang immunity mo oh wow, lumalakas ang immune system mo mm-hmm. dito spiritual yeah, immune system oo uh, uh, spiritual uh, ano uh, problem stress mataas ang ano mo doon because what because you have sabi nga ni Pastor Greg you have the word of God amen That's the one that our vitamin yun ang mm-hmm. nagpapaano sa atin why Amen. kaya ano tayo highly calibrated yes mm-hmm. parang yun yung word natin ngayong gabi ah recalibrate our spiritual response to stresses uh-huh. stressors pala papa so what comes into our into my mind is that i'd like you to illustrate to us how recalibration is being illustrated in in your car bakit applicable ba to sa car sa car pass ah yung cali- uh, recalibration uh. opo applicable ba to sa ano sa car or sa machine ah ah paano pa paano pa yung pero hindi naman kasi ang kwan um, calibration kasi diyan pastor uh, ah Siguro yung mga kasi may maraming mga gauge Adi, meters ano, diyan pero Adi, hindi siya ano yung mga ginagamit sa ano yung mga ginagamit namin sa mga inspection siguro sa mga mm-hmm. quality control na ano, mm-hmm. kasi may kon diyan may requirements diyan na every now and then nirerecalibrate yan oo na ano, nirerecalibrate para maging useful so, mga instruments na yan. Para, maging para maging useful, useful para maging, maging functional. mas maganda No, para oh, one, hindi, hindi lang maging useful. Para maging accurate, accurate yung reading mo. Ah, okay. Amen. Amen. Oh, so, guys, pag, hindi, pag hindi nakakalibrate yan, pwede siyang magbigay ng reading, pero may, ano, may mga error. Ah, tama. Error. Tama siya. Cool. Tama siya. Ah, tama. Tamang-tama siya. Tamang-tama siya dito sa ano natin. Oo. Oh. Uh-huh. Ang dami natin. Recalibration. Ano. Oh, ang dami nating learning ngayon. So, yung sinabi ni Pastor Greg, magre-reading nga naman, magpa-function nga naman, pero mali. So, kung hindi natin i-recalibrate hmm. so, anong gagawin yung, natin, Pastor? yung spiritual res- response natin, uh, 
ang mangyayari is that mali yung response natin doon sa ano doon sa stress mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na although man mm-hmm. ang palataya ka right. mali yung response mo kasi hindi recalibrated ang iyong spiritual response kaya nga to calibrate it gagawin natin yung mga na sabi natin kanina na anim Mm-mm. Kasi ito example, Pastor. Yes. Halimbawa, yung ginagamit namin isang instrumento nun para sa hydrogen sulfide. Ano? Yes. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide uh, uh, meter. No? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, para makalibrate mo itong instrument na to, kailangan mag-inject ka ng the same gas. Mm-hmm. Yung halimbawa, mm-hmm. nag-inject ka ng ano, nag-inject ka ng like 10% of gas. Uh-uh. So, yung in-inject mo na 10% of gas, pag nirecalibrate mo yan, dapat lumabas yon uh-uh. yung 10% na yun. Pero pag, hey, pero pag mali yung ano, pag, lu- pag mali yung lumabas na percentage ng ano, yun ang ano, yun yung ina-adjust yung, ano, yung reading para uh-huh. ma-recalibrate yung instrument. Tama ka ba? May the easiest ah. example is when you administer an oxygen. Okay, sige po. <laughs> when they <laughs> tell you to calibrate the, the to 3 ml per ano per minute. Okay. I- don't be engaged mo doon. That is ano yan, yan pinaka ano kasi kung kung hindi kung hindi mo may ilagay sa tama, hindi ka rin nakaka-reach yung oxygen sa nasal ano, depende kung ano yung yung gamit mo, nasal or yung mouth ganun. So dapat itaas mo din yung ano mo yung oxygen calibration mo. Okay. Okay. Grab ang ganda ng learning treatment <laughs> na sinap- mga quant pastor, okay. yung mga ano, yung mga load capacities. Yes. Yung mga load capacities, yung mga ginagamit ng mga weights. Okay. Certified din yung mga yon. Mm-hmm. Halimbawa, uh-huh. ang i-certify mo is yung ano, yung yung helidec halimbawa, no? So gagamit ka ng ano, gagamit ka ng 1000 kilos na ano na weight. So yung 1000 kilos na weight na yon, kailangan certified. Hindi ka basta-basta maglalagay ng ano, ng weight diyan. Kailangan certified na ano. Yes. And then Pastor, yung, yes. The application for this biblical practices is how to calibrate our spiritual response is the Bible studies. Yes. How frequent you will give the Bible studies. That's how uh-huh. you will ca- recalibrate our mm-hmm. spiritual response. Mm-hmm. Don't mo maano yun. If we are Amen. talking on physical mm-hmm. practices. Mm-hmm. Itong mga private Amen. services. Kung wala yan, hindi tayo naano yan. You mm-hmm. cannot do any. Uh-huh. Ano, hindi tayo ma-empower. Yes. Di mo ma- uh-huh. ma- uh-huh. Ano, so that is the uh-huh. best. Mm-hmm. More more Bible studies. And then, you are reaching out. Yes. Then you can recalibrate and then, the spiritual ano ng mga tao, yung yes. congregation. Ah 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 ah. Tama, tama, tama pastor. So, and then ah uh, Pastor. Dadagan ko lang yung sinabi ni Sister Al Pastor na yung uh, yung ating Bible study at yung yung sinasabi natin na uh, pag uh, bibigay ng sarili sa ating Panginoon kasi nga recalibrating our spiritual response to the stressors that this stuff is uh, sabi niya dito that we are serving the almighty and all powerful god mm-hmm. so ang sabi naman ni apostle paul na sinasabi niya sa bawat isang nananampalataya na hinihingi niya doon sa Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 di ba Mm-hmm. Isa, isa ito sa naman nakikita ko to recalibrate our spiritual peace uh, personally personally as Christians we must give ourselves to God mm-hmm. so that uh, we will uh, sabi nga dyan dito na you present your bodies as a living sacrifice that is acceptable to Christ mm-hmm. so we must remember that uh, God is God who is a very powerful God So we must be acceptable as Christians, as a believer, mm-hmm. and uh, not only that, which is responsible. Ang sabi niya dito, which is reasonable service. Kung hindi tayo nagrecalibrate, hindi na nagiging reasonable yung service natin sa Panginoon, di ba? Mm-hmm. So ang mangyayari dito, ang kinakailangan talaga natin is we must be renewed in our mind. 
para sa lanon ay hindi tayo mako-confirm pa ano yung mga nangyayari dito sa mundo para hindi ma ayo makakontaminate na tulad ng sabi ni Sister Au at ang service natin ay maging good and acceptable and per- to the perfect will of God. Amen. Yun lang naman po ang Amen. isa sa mga ano natin for recalibration po. In short pastor, uh, in short pag stress ka, 'di ba? Pag stress ka, paano ka magsisiyero ng salita ng Panginoon? Mm. Inang diba? ano? Oo. Opo. Pag Isa po kasi sa distressing ko, Pastor. Pag pinunong mo yung isip mo ng problema, paano kung magbabahagi ng salita ng Panginoon? Ibabahagi mo ng problema. So, daba, daba. Wala, Pastor. Wala. <laughs> problema po yung ibabahagi mo, Pastor. Isa, may, mayroon pa nga ako isa sa mga ano, Pastor, eh, kasabihan na ano, paano ka magbibigay ng piso kung ang nasa iyo ay 25 lang? Mm-hmm. Dapat magkakaroon ka muna ng dalawang piso para may maibigay kang piso. Mm-hmm. Di po ba? When it comes to the word of God naman, paano ka magbibigay ng salita ng Diyos kung ikaw mismo ay kulang na kulang ka ng salita ng Diyos? Dapat mm-hmm. ikaw mismo ay kulang ka ng salita ng Diyos upang sa ganun dadaloy ang you salita ng Diyos sa buhay mo at sa mga tao. Uh, again, madam? Oo. Para sa bangko, hindi ka pwedeng mag-withdraw kung wala kang deposito. Oo. You must deposit. Mag-ipon ka ng, yan, yung mga biblical, ano mo, paanoyin mo, i-caliber mo yung buhay mo para tumig- ay, tuma- tumakayong ka, para hindi maano. Equilibrium is balancing. Yes. You should balance yourself. Opo. You cannot Uh-oh. walk if you are if you are uh, ano yung ano ang equilibrium mo mahihilo ka diyan. Okay. Actually, <laughs> kung, ano yan? Conclusion yung pinag-uusapan natin, parang naalala ko tuloy yung mga actual na Bible study natin that we were really like in an intense discussion. <laughs> naalala ko yun sa <laughs> naalala ko yun sa alin <laughs> na ano yung yung isa nagsasabi so I am just simply listening. Uh, I just wanted to conclude siguro. Pwede naman tayo mag-conclude oh. kasi meron pa naman tayo oh. next week anyway. Uh, today, really, uh, it's a great learning. Ang dami pong span of uh, experience na isinishare sa atin. Now, ang reality-wise is that all of us and daily, we are facing a life that is full of uh, stressful stressors. Ang learning ko lang ngayong gabi is that um, Although may mga stresses talaga sa buhay natin, I I I I, I come to conclude na pwedeng ano, pwedeng pwedeng i-manage of course. Pwedeng i-manage kapag i-realign lang po natin yung sarili natin doon sa alignment na gusto Amen. ni Lord na patatahakin natin. And Amen. Punta tayo sa Pero kanya. Sabi, sabi yes. nga rito pastor eh, ituloy ko lang yung Philippians 4.6 kanina. No? Sabi yes, nga, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Yes. Ang sabi sa verse 7, sabi dito, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, understanding. will guard Amen. your hearts and minds through Jesus. Amen. 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 Alam mo yung peace na ano, yung which surpass and hindi natin maintindihan bakit bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng peace na sa halip na nagkakaroon tayo ng napakabigat na problema, maraming problema. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. still we have that peace na hindi Amen. natin maintindihan mm-hmm. kung saan lang gagaling. Galing yan kayo. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Peace too. Ayan, magi amen na lang. Amen, amen na po ako. <laughs> amen talaga ako doon. <laughs> Ayan. So, anong oras na? Tayo ay, ano na, June, ano na, August 13 na. <laughs> Tamang-tama na po. At <coughs> we, we will uh, see you again next week po. And uh, really, nag smile po ako dahil pati ako po ay na-equip, pati ako po ay natututo whenever we have uh, Bible studies like this. So, by next week po, yung coping mechanism sa mga stress and we are expecting po uh, Sister Ao to give us the talk and um, siguro magbibigay din po, din po ako ng outline Sister, Sister Ao Naglagay ka ng outline mo then ako, I will Yes um, na may, Mayroon akong caliber 
Yes. <laughs> Kagaya ng ginawa po natin ngayon. Kasi ano yan, uh, hindi natin aalisin ang ganito pong platform na meron tayong nakikita yeah. sa screen. Amen. Are you blessed po? Amen. 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 I'd like to ask Pastor Greg to close us in prayer. Morning na po. Sige, let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord, for this uh, uh, precious moment that you've given us, Lord, Father God. Once again, we're indeed privileged, Lord, Father God, Lord, to uh, study your words, Lord, Father God. And Amen. Lord, uh, we thank you for your presence, Lord, Father God. Yes, Lord. Lord. You have said in your words, Lord, that uh, where two or three gather in your name, Lord, you will be in the midst, Lord, Father God. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord, Father God, for speaking unto our hearts today. We thank you, Lord, Father God, even for divine, for your divine mediation, oh Lord, Father yes. God. I believe, Lord, yes, Father Lord. God, Lord you, have, you have spoken to each and every heart today, mm -hmm. oh Lord, Father God, Lord, who uh, are attending this Bible study, oh Lord, Father God. And we pray, oh Lord, Father God, that uh, more and more of our brothers and sisters, oh Lord, Father God, Lord, will be participating, oh Lord, Father God, Lord, Amen. in this Bible study, oh Lord, Father God. Yes. And uh, Lord, as we have learned your words, Lord, Father God, Lord, uh, uh, may you continue, Father God, Lord, strengthen each and every one of us, Lord, as we cling and hold on to your promises, Lord, yes. Father, Lord, that uh, we should not be anxious about anything, but in everything through prayers and supplications, Lord, yes. Father God. And we thank you, Lord, Father God, Lord, for this time once again. Lord, Father God, and uh, Lord, I speak blessings. Oh, Lord, Father God, Lord, upon uh, Pastor June and uh, Pastor Aconcha. Oh, Lord, Father Sister God. Al. Sister Al. Amen. Lord, Father God, and uh, Sister Al. May the Lord, 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 study continue yes. to progress, continue to, uh, Amen. continue to gather more people, Lord, Father God, yes. Lord, grow. Oh, Lord, Father God, Lord, in the knowledge of you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you, and Lord, we just want to give you back all the highest praises and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God Good bless morning, you. morning and God bless. Good morning, everyone. Tama yung prophecy na yung kanina na matatapos tayo August 30. Amen. God bless you po. Thank you po. God bless you. Ano pa? Happy birthday. Happy birthday kay ano kay Sister Jo kanina. Iya nga. Apo. Pastor. Apo. Suggestion lang. Apo. Doon sa natin sa sa service natin. Mhm. Mm Pwede magkaroon ng kahit mga 10 minutes kasi parang prelude na ano. Bago, uh -oh. Para tayo mag-start kagad na pagbukas start kagad. Uh -oh. Yung magkakaroon tayo ng prelude na ano. Na, we, call, we call it premiere. Premiere yun pa. Yes. 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 Parang 10 minutes before na ano, mag-start tayo. Uh -uh. Naka-on. Naka Opo. Sige, i-ano ko yan. Kayo. Pwede ba natin gawin na? Gawin na. Mayroon naman yan sa cellphone, premiere. Kakanta kami sa biyernes. Oh. Kasi si pagbukas natin, pagbukas niyo kasi stop na tayo kaagad. Uh -huh. Kasi kung minsan nag-aabang kami, wala pa. Uh -huh. Tapos uh -huh. yun yung mag pagbukas namin o nag-start pala. Oh. Pagbukas ko eh, ano na. <laughs> Stop reading na. Naka, naka, ano yung kasi, na ano, pala. <laughs> ano yung kasi pas na, ano, na ipipremiere. May premiere yun eh, 15 minutes, ganun. Pero nakabukas na. Sige, gawin natin yan sa Friday. Sige po. Oh. Tapos yung ano natin pa sa or yung uh, yung yung prayer meeting. Anong oras ba tayo talaga? Prayer meeting. Kasi dati-dati, ano yun? Thursday pa sa. 10.30 yun. So, so sa natin 8.30 nung una. Uh -huh. So, oh. ikaw ba sa ready po ba kayo ng, ano, ng 8.30 ng Thursday? Kayo. kayo. Ay, alangal ako po. Pastor, okay, 9 o'clock. Ang availability ng Caribbean, Pastor? Opo, pwede na. 9.30, okay. 9.30 pa? Okay. Sister Cut. Okay. Sister Cut kasi ngayon, mga ano pa, mga one week from 10 now. 10.30 k
Um, or one Ilan week from now. Ilan na yung mga para ano, what is the point of ano, to, to, to encourage people. Oh, sige, 10.30 na lang. May, ano, and, uh, if, 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 if we can sacrifice, we have to sacrifice para ah, ano, ma, sacrifice. ano natin sila. Okay. Uh, hmm. We can do it naman sa prayer meeting na hindi masyadong mahaba. Di ba? Direct to the point mm-hmm. tayo. Okay, okay. naman po, Pastor, eh, kasi Friday naman kinabukaan. Mga prayers. Okay. Opo. So we will take that. So mga 10.30 tayo. Para okay. 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 Kararating nila? Tapunta yung mga dito. Uh, uh, sige po. Uh, sige po. Good night. Good morning. Sige po. Good morning. Good night. Uh, Na-bless ako ngayon dahil sa ano, dami nating napag-usapan. <laughs> napunta sa car. <laughs> napunta sa oxygen. <laughs> ang dami nga na. Ang dami application ng Word of God. Grabe. Punong tumo ako okay. ngayon. <laughs> Pag mas malaki yung calibration, mas mataas yung calibration niya, uh, mas patent yung oxygen, di ba? Mas uh-huh. malakas ang flow. Same uh-huh. thing with... Uh-huh. I mean, mas um, marami kang ano, sa Bible studies, lalakas ka din. Uh-huh. Sa stressor, uh-huh. darating mo yung stressor, hindi ka talaga uh, nakyas yung uh-huh. immunity uh-huh. mo na hindi ka matataga. Uh-huh. Kasi kung pag konti lang, eh... Madali ka lang na ano ang matutumba. I mean, na-amaze lang ko ngayon kasi parang mm. ang, ang very rich lang yung ano, yung sharing natin, yung inflow ng ano, ng ng thoughts. Kasi nga, yung yung, yung yung topic natin talagang very relevant this time. Hi! How are you? How are you? Ang ka-sexy naman. Anong binili mo? Ay, ang ganda ka ba yung mo? Where, prin- where princess been? Princess daw, oh. Oh, si Lolo daw. Hi, princess. How are you? Hi, princess. Just ah? now you came back? Oh, yeah. Did you march? Hi. Pagliguan mo. Ba't paliguan? Okay, see you po. Bye. Oh, God bless you. Good morning. God bless. 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 God